Hi everyone. Uh, I've gathered most of my gear here. I've uh, about uh, three, three weeks, maybe a little bit more, four weeks from the uh, from the expedition. Um, about three weeks from the from the departure date, though. And um, uh, I've got all my equipment gathered here. And uh, I thought I'd just go through it with you guys. I uh, did uh, go through some of the new gear that uh, that um, I got sent by by G. Uh, previously, but uh, I've got most of the most of the equipment here now um, uh, gathered together with uh, some of the other gear as well. So uh, first things first, here's um, the balaclava uh, that'll you know protect our face, etc. from the wind, the cold, and everything else. Uh, I've got two of these: one from Rab and one from Outdoor Research. Uh, we'll just have to decide um, which one to use. Here's the the uh, vest, the down vest that I showed earlier, uh, and uh, that w that will be a useful supplement if we're if we're cold. Uh, again, these are the expedition slippers. Um, we'll be using those in our tent to keep uh, warm. Um, I did also explain that um, earlier. Here, uh, the. Main expedition uh, down jacket that that if we use it will go up above uh, everything else, and uh, will be sort of the warmest piece of kit we have. It's about 750 fill, almost the top uh, level of um, of down fill, so it'll be very very warm. Um, here is a new piece of gear that I haven't explained yet. Uh, this is our tent jacket. It's made by North Face, um, and uh, that will keep us warm in the tent. For example, um, you know when we go to sleep, we can't just you know. Uh, slip into pajamas or anything, so um, we will be uh, putting on this tent jacket to keep warm in our sleeping bags. Um, temperatures can get as cold as you know in, in uh, when we're going probably uh, as cold as minus 35 almost. Um, so it's important to keep warm during the night, especially. Um, so uh, yeah, okay. Here's um, here's the expedition jacket, uh, and that's the sort of main event. Um, piece of kit that we have and uh, that will help just keep us dry on the outside. Not particularly warm, it's, it's more of a hard shell which means that it'll uh, just allow us to keep dry without um, without overheating us. This, uh, I haven't explained yet, is a is a fur ruff. This will be the uh, what we attach to the outside of this jacket here, sort of a It'll be uh, put along the outside here, sewn, sewn along the outside, and it'll uh, it'll help keep us um, uh, it'll help keep us warm, sort of the the outside of our of our um, face uh, warm. Traditionally, uh, it was made. It used to be made with uh, Wolverine hair um, by uh, I think the the Inuits started this. Uh, it's actually the only um, hair that doesn't freeze, which is why it was traditionally used. Some um, hairs are now actually synthetic fibers, uh, sort of um, an artificial creation rather than uh, true wolverine hair which is actually very expensive to uh, not only acquire but also maintain. Um, here are the, uh, the um, two uh, sort of layers, warm layers um, under the jacket that we'll be using. Um, one's made by Rab, one by North Face. They're both equally warm um, but they're essentially fleeces um, that will keep us warm. That's sort of the main warm layers underneath our waterproof layer. Uh, this is our waterproof um, outer layer for uh, for pants. Um, it's a an event again. It's uh, sort of the main waterproof um, outer layer. Um, here are the the boots that we'll be using. As I've said, they were actually designed by Doug himself. There's a signature boot endorsed by Baffin. And uh, they're rated to minus 100 Celsius, so it'll keep us nice and dry and actually comfortable in the um, when we're trekking through the uh, the Arctic. And it's actually um, it doesn't look like your typical ski boot, but it's uh, it actually uh, bind on to our skis with a special um, flexi binding that uh, that was custom built. It'll essentially be strapped on. Um, here are the gloves, the three pairs of gloves. In fact, the outer, inner, and liner. Um, gloves. These are um, these are event gloves. The, the outer ones again. Um, 
made by Rob. That's the main waterproof fabric that we'll be using to keep us dry throughout the expedition. Uh, but the weather can get very hairy out there, so we have an extra layer uh, underneath that. Um, and also, it'll be useful. These are pretty warm, actually. They've got a fleece interior, um, and it'll be useful for... Uh, they've also got a, a grip sort of um, on the outside, so it'll be useful if we need to handle gear or uh, tools or anything like that without... Um, you need to keep this enormous mitten on. It'll just keep us warm when we're doing the main trek. The liner gloves are mainly just to add an extra layer of warmth, um, just in case we need it. This is uh, obviously the just the long underwear that we'll be using. Um, not particularly, nothing special. Uh, and obviously the several pairs of socks. Um, so at the moment, that's that's about it for the moment. We've also we've obviously got uh, quite a lot of technical gear left and uh, some other clothing as well. But this is the main equipment that uh, that we'll be using, you know, um, most of the time throughout the expedition that we'll be wearing throughout the whole expedition. And um, so hopefully I, I gave you sort of um, a taste of what uh, what I will be, you know, using on the expedition. And um, soon, you know, it's only a couple weeks away, a few weeks away. So I'll be uh, I'll probably be starting to pack some of this soon and uh, go over th some of the more technical gear when we're in a, when we're in Svalbard. So. Yeah, so uh, that, that's pretty much everything.